Let's see what this is. Cheat. What have they done to you, Cheeto? Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Last time we finished off with tackling on the rest of Nutty Acres that we had left, and we, we went on into Banjo Land, and Act 1 went pretty smoothly, banked into those jiggies. So now we have up to 19 of them banked, and like several around the city. Now we're heading on into Banjo Land Act 2, which surprisingly only has two jiggies and uh, three Jinjo tokens, so they're really Jinjoing up this next location. But, might as well get them out of the way, right? I also don't think I ever mentioned this, but the loading screen for Nuts and Bolts, because they're so fast in this version of the game, on Xbox One X, or Xbox One, whichever one actually has a difference. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I was saying something, but now I got off track. Uh, yeah, the loading music is actually from uh, Battletoads. I'm sure most of you know that, but it's a pretty neat fact. So, another another lovely rare game. I'm gonna go ahead and send off the plane. No! No, I'm sliding for my life. That sucks. Well, there we go, guys. That sucks. I spent your flops all the way over here. Flopped and slid down the hill. That sucked. All right, well, time to give that another whirl. I don't think we need to fly up here, for se. We could probably just ride. But you know what, we'll fly a little. We'll fly a little. Nah, don't do a frickin' flip. Oh my god, we're gonna crash! Uh, swoosh! Land gracefully. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Fit. He's got the referees in Ardvark. That's, that's a weird mission name. Roll up, roll up! Who wants to take on the stony kickball challenge? Hey there, Slim. Fancy knocking a few balls around, I'm sure is what he's gonna say. It's hardly a challenge, Aunt Breath. Those guys don't even have feet to kick with. The rules are simple enough for even the bird to understand. Check out how many goals I scored within the time limit thanks to my sparkling football skills, I guess. Sounds pretty straightforward. So where are the balls? Park on the red switch to dispense the balls. Make them count by hitting them into the old onion over there. Okay, I guess that's what I said. Uh... Video or a uh, vehicle suited to guiding the strike striking the balls. Okay. Um Ooh, that's a good question. Da, ba, da, da. I don't think it I don't think tank will do, will it? Probably not. Uh could always go with I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try act one here. I don't think it'll work. But we'll see. We shall definitely see. I think you're supposed to have something that kind of contains the soccer balls well enough. We'll, we'll give this a try. Right in here? Well, we almost had it. You know what? I am actually going to go build a vehicle real quick. Or maybe Humble Wumba has like some blueprints I could work with. Let's give a... Let's give a Humble Wumba one a try. Do you have anything that'll like... Bring anything in? No, okay. Town blueprints? Well, town blueprints aren't probably going to be all that good. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and create one. I'm going to name this vehicle... Soccer Mom. There we go, guys. Look at that. That looks like a soccer mom car to you. Probably not. That's that's one heck of a vehicle right there. But I think I think it should be good enough to take on some soccer balls and whatnot. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. See how this goes. I'm gonna wait for a couple soccer balls to come out though, because you can actually wait for this to have a couple soccer balls pop out. And I kept just, I just only took out one. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Send out as many as you want. Send out as many as you want. That should be good enough. Okay. Go ahead and start taking some of these. There we go. Let's go ahead and see if we can score two. Boom. There we go. Very nice. Oh man, I'm getting some of those Mayhem Temple kickball tournament vibes. There we go. Oh, well, I'm not gonna be able to get that soccer ball now, but that's okay. We grab these instead. I think, yeah, I think my vehicle is definitely well suited for soccer. I, I think I did a pretty good job. Now they want us to play this for two. Almost like three minutes, actually. I almost said two and a half minutes, but we only have about a little less than two and a half minutes left. Let's go ahead and send out more soccer balls. Just let a whole slew of them come out. Let a whole bunch of them come out. There we go. And that should be good. Send out one more. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and screw these grunt bots over. Oh no, they screwed me over. Who could have saw that coming? Uh, but but da 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 da. Oh, okay. I should probably play a little better. There we go. Okay. Let's go over here and try to collect maybe a couple soccer balls that I had lost at some point. There we go. Maybe get a cow in while we're at it. Or uh, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if they're a cow for a second. I'm pretty sure they're a cow of a sort. Could you please, Grunt Bots? I'm kind of trying to have a soccer game here, and it's, it's hard to have one when you're in the way. You know what? I'm resetting. I don't see this going anywhere fast, and we only got like a minute left, so might as well start with something fresh. I'm sure we can manage. I just gotta not be such a bozo about it. There we go. I'm gonna send out a whole bunch. I'm just gonna let it go off for a while. A whole bunch of soccer balls. And I'm just gonna plow right into them. I could have made this bigger and crazier, but I thought this would be good enough. I, I still think it is. Okay. There we go. Knock those in. Very nice. And then I'll turn back around. Try to collect some more. I feel like the grunt bots only come in once you score some bull. It's just like, hey, he's being good at this game. Get him. Yeah, look at that bull frick. If they were a soccer ball, I would have scored for sure. Hang on. Let's go ahead and see if I can just do that. Ha ha ha. That is a method that also works. Oh, shoot. I want to get rid of these grunt bots, though. Hang on. It's good thing we hit that gym with Boggy. There we go. Time to get him over. Oh, shoot. What, I, what part did I lose? Oh, it's best to have it back, anyways. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and try to go for it, anyways. Really? I was going to. Son of a jiggy. Yeah, that wasn't funny. I tried though. I tried. It's all about the trying. It's about the participation points. Frick. I don't want to die. Okay, here we go. Here's the button. We probably have to get about maybe four more in. So let's go ahead and plop out a whole bunch. Just keep plopping them out. Keep going. We're going to wait till the whole soccer field is just full of soccer balls. Then I'll just have to win. Okay. Ooh, that's a good set of balls right there. I bet they all couldn't go in. There we go. Let's back it up a little. Hope I don't hit any soccer balls. Yeah, can I, oh, I was going to say, can I save that soccer ball? Probably not. Maybe? Oh, yeah, I know. You're lost, little one. Sorry. Gotta keep going. Oh, and the lights came on. Is this like nighttime or something? Nope. We're winning this sucker. And there we go. We could pretty much waste the rest of our time if we desire, but we can go for a high score as well. So I guess that's something I'll do. But we've won basically, so that's good. I love these kind of missions because then when you like when you know you've won, you just have to waste a bunch of time. Hopefully, it's not a huge amount of time though, because that can get boring just having to wait on the sidelines and whatnot until the mission's over. Could easily skip ahead to when we finish, but nah. Let's see if we can score some more in. There we go. Uh, I tried. I guess they're good at knocking my balls out. Come on. Oh, I got him in. Goal! Dang, I really actually couldn't get any more soccer balls in. Tactically speaking, that was close. But hey, we, we I knew I could waste time. It's not like I was trying to pinch for it. If I was really trying to be legitimate, I probably would have been more careful about that. But yeah, there we go, guys. That's a jiggy down the hatch. Back of the net. A result like that deserves a golden boot, which I don't have. So take a bunch of other stuff instead. Ah, Mr. Fit. I hate you, but I also love you. Alright. Let's go this way. Let's see a Jiggy. Yep, not too far from here. It's boggy. I love how you can travel so fast around Bandraland with Johnny's Jet. Also, garbage can full of Grab by the Ghoulies copies. This is where they've all went. I've actually had to dig through literal garbage before in real life to get a copy of Grab by the Ghoulies. Crazy, right? But that's how you had to get them. That's the only way you can find them. It has the rated E logo on them and everything. It even has the website, xbox.com slash ghoulies, has every single bit that would be on the back of a box. And it's freaking amazing. Alright, Dr. Boggy here. He seems pretty down at the dumps. 
This place is a mess. I thought you were supposed to be the hired cleaner around here, Boggy. Well, I thought about doing it, but all the thinking tired me out. Could you take over? Alright. Okay. Did I see a Banjo 2E logo? I was like, I better not be Banjo 3. This place has never had some visitor blah, 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 rubbish. Sorry, I kind of went through that quick. Burp. I have no idea. You need to get some of this trash into the bin before Bottle sees it. Alright, that's about right. Bottles is very uptight. He's basically the Eda of My Hero Academia. He, everything's gotta be in order, man. Uh, when you're ready, press the A button to begin. Let's see, pick up trash around and lob it inside. A vehicle that can lift objects into the air would be useful. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick... Let's try... Alright, let's try Johnny's jet, but then we're gonna create something real quick. We're gonna go ahead and give this... Sticky Ball. That sound good. And then we're gonna make the sticky ball out in front of us, that way I can actually see what I'm sticking. And that should be good. I don't know if this will actually win us the day. It might be a bit overkill for trash, but I'm gonna try anyways. Just because I'm curious if I can. Alright. There we go. And then we'll get flying. Good. This is really heavy. I am sad. Oh my god, I want this to work. Where am I going? Oh my god. Okay. This is literally gonna be a minute mission. There. Oh my lord! <laughs> I've set the trash can flying. I have never done that before. Well. Time to use a different vehicle. I have an idea. There's there's something you could do that's easier. I just want to see what I could do. So we're gonna go ahead and choose a vehicle. I guess I'll go with this for now and then create. This shouldn't be a problem at all. So you wanna wanna go ahead and get um storage. Large tray. I think we can get rid of whatever's on top here. Yeah, that should be no problem. And then you want just to be on the safe side of things, you wanna make sure. Uh, how do I want to do this, actually? Go to body, light, we'll go with poles. I'm actually using poles a lot more than I ever have in my life, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and just pull it up here. And then that should be good. And then we'll go ahead and do this as well. Turn these up. And then right here, I know it seems like it's nothing there. But there will be something there, I promise. We'll do one more layer. I think this should be okay. This might be a bit overkill, honestly. But I'm gonna do it anyways. There we go. And then one more. And then we'll go to an L pole. And that should be good. There we go. And then we just have to go to the other side. It will be a okay. Bam, 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 bam. All right, and then <laughs> actually don't remember what I wanted to do here. Let's see. I guess we could always do it like this. Like really secure ourselves up here. Like this, and then yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let's keep doing it like this. Right? And... We're good. And now I just need some more of the L poles. There we go. Come on. There you go. And then another one here. Sorry, I know I don't show the building process, but I'm a little stubborn right now. Hang on. Get an L pole. Ah, frick. Took me all the way over here. That's okay. Technically the same shtick. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a T-pole. We're going to do it awesome style. There we go. Should definitely work. It's a little obscure looking, not going to lie. But at the same time, it should work well. Honestly, it, it's probably overkill, more or less. I'm definitely overkilling it right now. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and... 
replacing balloons out if we can. Where, where in the fudge are we replacing balloons? Oh, I guess, yeah, on the sides here, this works. I wasn't too sure what the game would allow. There. Oh, wait, we probably need more balloons than that. This isn't going to float very well with it being super heavy. And then we're going to get fly and float. No, not those. Not those. Sorry. Large. And then... Probably like this. Oh, wait, that's going to get in the way of the trash can. That is definitely going to get in the way of the trash can. Okay. Uh, God. What do I want to do? Guess we could always do this. And then one, like, way out here. And then we'll get some more body. I am, like, really not supposed to be showing this off right now. This is taking up a lot of time. I saw one of my episodes where I showed off creation for the first time. It took, like, a lot of time. Let's just go with that. And then we'll go with this. I think an L pole should do it, more than likely. There. We should be good in this regard. Ah! Okay, now let's test it out the test of before I make a complete fool of myself. Oh, it actually floats on its own without needing balloons. That's always good. That's always good. That means we have options, and options are nice. I'm actually going to go ahead and save this since this did take quite a bit of effort. We're going to go ahead and call it... Uh... Ooh, I have an idea. I have a good name for it. We're going to call it... Up... Lifting. As you can probably tell by the way I type it. It's probably like a whole... Like, what's that called? What's that... What's that game called when you... Oh, was it Wheel of Fortune? And then you have to guess letters? Yeah. Everyone can play Wheel of Fortune when I type in names. And they're like, oh, it's, uh, it's uh, uplifting. Am I being annoying? Yeah, I'm, I'm probably annoying right now. More or less. Okay, so... Let's go and take Guff. There we go. We can probably put a couple things in here, actually, considering I've made this a pretty big tray. So this is more than likely a really good idea. Oh, really? D did it actually give up on me? I figured it'd all go inside. Let's go ahead and just try it out. There we go. And then drop on down. Bada bing, bada boom. Honestly, this is probably overkill. But we can also use this vehicle in the future, so I'm not complaining. Let's go slap that inside. What is this? Looks like gum of some kind. I feel like I should know the reference, and that's kind of sad. But at the same time, I don't. There we go. Easy peasy. That was a lot of work for just like a, what, a 30-something second mission? 46 seconds? Yeah. Holy crap. Did not take a whole lot of effort once you have a nice vehicle. But we, like I said, we can use this vehicle in the future. So, it's okay. Time well spent. Oh my god, my vehicle was hanging off the side of the trash can. Wowzers, this place hasn't been so clean since, well, it hasn't been so clean. Tut marks, Banjo. Oh, okay. Nothing on Kazooie. Everyone always forgets Kazooie. Oh, hello. Not today, my friend. Uh, I don't know how long this episode's been going on for. One of you Jinjos are real! And I like the fact that this is a thing. Let's go talk to you. That's not talking. That is not talking. There we go. Thank goodness, somebody's saying at last, do I look like an exhibit to you? Get me out of here. Like, it's like, these. they should have put the original Jinjo models in this game. That would have been cool as heck. I only came in for a look around, and that half-blinded mole picked me up, so I put me on display. Quick, take me to the gates before... Okay, I can't read it in time. I try, I try, man, I try. I try to read in time, it don't work. That's not my fault. Okay. We're gonna take good old Jinjo here to his destination. His or hers. I don't think... I don't know if Jinjos have gingers. If they do, I'm so sorry for assuming. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to say that? I'm not too sure. Not really joking about it. I'm, I'm being legitimate. I, I don't know if they do or don't. Not that it matters a whole lot, but you never know if they do. It could just easily be weird creatures. I kind of like Pokemon. Some Pokemon don't have genders, like legendaries and whatnot. And there we go. What? Good man. There we go. Jeez, don't scare me like that game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll go somewhere safer next time, like an amateur knife thrower's convention. Oh my god, don't do that. Oh my god, I got trapped in the glass. You have to bust out of there. Okay, bozo. You can just show up here all the time. 
Got another thing coming. Also, I love the Banjo Tooie boxes over there. Got a couple Banjo Tooie characters. Got Old King Cole, the washing machine, the money machine, the um, dynamite starter, whatever you want to call that guy. I don't remember his name. The pumpkin. Awesome references. So I got all the Jiggies taken care of here, and I think one Jinjo. I don't remember getting two. So I gotta go find another Jinjo real quick. See if we can do that, shall we? Oh, I finally found a ginger. Jeez, it took me a while. Okay. Seems to be a little guy over here. Let's talk to them. What you got? I say, old boy, your sudden appearance has me at a loss. Did you wish to participate in some whimsical challenge? Well, at least they're honest. My uh, looks are quite different. Very well, then. Could you, I wonder, build something remarkable enough to attain the velocity? Indicated by the speedometer device? I don't know why I bother reading these when they're all the frickin' same. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with, uh, Johnny's Jet. Johnny's Jet seems to be doing it for us nowadays. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Ooh, some notes. I should probably get those. Let's go. I'll grab a couple. For the road! I got one for the road. Alright, I'm just gonna say screw you. You're wasting my time, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Just saying. But, uh, man, this, this looks kind of familiar, honestly, this little platform I'm on. That's strange. Gonna collect the notes real quick. Ah, stay away from me, freak. Let's, uh, oh, forgot to get that one. There we go. Let's see what this is. Cheat. What have they done to you, Cheeto? What have they done? Hapless page shredding spellbook mist Reeded minion of Grunty and veteran of Banjo Kazooie series returning Cheetos pages tended to earn unlockable items or surprisingly cheat codes. Surprisingly cheat codes. I just love their witty humor. But yeah, Cheetos dead. Uh, he's an he's an exhibit item, and uh, he passed, and they are using his body as an exhibit item. Uh, that is canon. That is a real deal situation, and I'm very saddened, honestly. Very sad. Very very sad day here in. Banjo Land. I'm gonna go find that other Jinjo. What is this? It's on top of the frickin' uh, snowman from Freeze Easy Peak. What is this? What is that? What what the frick was that? What the frick? That was a weird egg. Oh, there's the Jinjo. Hey, they're hiding behind the bridge. You know, I checked over here earlier, kind of, but I didn't check behind the bridge. Yeah. Get on out of here. Alright, we got Jinjo hurtling. Right, I'm just gonna go and skip the Jinjo talk. Frick em, I'm, I'm impatient today. Only a very brave Jinjo would ask to be hurtled by such a distance. Give it your best shot. Alright. Um, Johnny's jet should work. I like I've incorporated my friend Johnny into the Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Let's Play by giving him his own jet that is actually quite successful. Yeah! That should definitely do it. As long as my plane doesn't get in the way. Oh, my plane got in the way. Ah, we should win. It should be good. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how you do it. It's probably still gonna keep going with this hill. Maybe? Maybe not. The game's just gonna give up and be like, yeah, you wanna, you wanna get on out of here, don't you? Physics don't work that way, man. I can tell you that right now. You did it. Here, take this. I'm done with it. I don't need such frippery to prove my bravado. What the heck? Kind of talk is that? Ah! Return to showdown town. We're almost attacked. Well, that's Act Two done. Unfortunately, it was mostly uh, Jinjos instead of Jiggies that time. But I think I wonder how much Banjo Land Act Three has. We can go to Act Three. Let's go to Act Three real quick. Take a little bit of a dip. Just a little bit of a dip. I think I might go for like a Jiggy in this act, a Jiggy or two, and then we'll clean up the rest later just because I don't want this to last too, too long. I want this episode to be super huge. We got Banjo Land Act 3. Yeah, I'll go ahead and grab like two Jiggies here, and then we'll do the rest later. Sound like a plan? That way we're banking in like four Jiggies with like, what, three Jinjos? That's pretty good. It's pretty good for an episode of Nuts and Bolts. This game is really big. You guys. Might be surprised at how long this project will last. It, it could easily last up to about 40 videos, or maybe even more, honestly. That's how long this could take. So, don't be surprised if it does happen that way. 
It's gonna take like the whole month of September. That's for sure. Alright. Uh, Bandra Land. What a way to go! Love these puns. Bear come to only fun spot in whole stupid place. Klungo and Blubber race on water while boss not around. Want to join in? I love how Klungo is all, all about like, let's have some fun while uh, Bottles isn't around. Sure thing, Klungo. Let's make some waves. Cool. I don't know, Banjo. Do you think that water is regularly chlorinated? Probably not. You know, I wouldn't have been able to read that word years ago, more, more or less. If I was like, maybe, I don't know, 9 or 10. Maybe even 12. Latest work, dodging. Oh, actually, I was pretty smart when I was 12. I'm just more dumb now. I've, I've been baked over the years. Okay, so they want us to have a water-based vehicle. I'm actually going to go ahead and create one. Uh, because that would be fun. I think that would be a fun thing to do. And I don't have a water-based vehicle, so that would be something important to have. So, for some reason, my Xbox went black on the screen. You guys don't see anything right now. I don't know what happened. Unfortunately, I think I have to reset the system. So, I'll be right back back. Alright, so I'm back. I had a really weird thing going on, because my TV was just like, it was giving out along with the Xbox. Like, the TV would turn on, but the Xbox went on, like, everything was just turning off for me. It was really freaking weird. I must have some kind of compatibility issue or something somewhere down the line, but, uh, anyways. So we got ourselves a vehicle. I recreated it again, the one I made and couldn't save. I recreated it. Uh, we're gonna name them uh... Big <laughs> Boat. I don't really have a creative name. I'm gonna name them Big Boat. Yeah, I don't know. I was gonna go with Big Boaty, but then I'm like, I'm probably gonna regret that even more than later than Big Boat. So, I don't know if this will be any good. Let's go to the tester track to see if it's any good. It's gonna put us in some water to test it out. Seems like we got ourselves a pretty... Whoa, my God! You talk about a fast freaking boat. We're gonna win this race. Ah, uh, no! There we go. Alright, we're done. We're done testing things out. That should be enough to win a race. For sure. Here we go. I am so sorry about that. For me, it was awkward. I was like, um, I had to reset the system, boot up the game, and recreate a boat. That was not a fun feeling. But, regardless, got that done. Look how fast I am. Holy crap. Oh, wait. Are we supposed to go around? Oh, jeez. I'm so quick, I can pretty much say frick the rules and play this game however I want. Look at, look at this crap. I went the wrong direction and everything. That's just how good I was. I also went ahead and put a passenger seat in, in case one, we ever do a boat mission later that we have to be fast and do passenger stuff. Two, uh, because it makes the car look even, instead of one seat on an awkward side of the vehicle. Shoot, dude, they make me crisscross here or some bull. I just, I can't. I can't even. Can't fathom it. Oh my god. Hang on. We are so fast. This is incredibly fast. I also don't have much fuel I have. I think I have a tremendous amount, so I don't think I'll run out, but hopefully we don't. Yeah, but no, I put in like four. I put two large jets and two small jets. And like all the engines, all the fuel. I didn't put in any ammo, but I figured I'm not going to be shooting anything with this anyways. Hey, look at that. I did it this time. I actually crisscrossed. But yeah, this vehicle is insanely fast. It's probably my fastest vehicle yet, technically, because it has more than the, just the two large jets. So, that's pretty gnarly. And it sucks, too, because, like, I had it created exactly like this. Like, this has to be done nearly, like, like vehicle part for vehicle part. Like, it's, it's pretty much on par. See, my fuel was almost out. There was, like, a pinch of it almost gone. So this vehicle is definitely going to either A, need more fuel in the future, or it's going to need, uh, whatever. Anyways, we got Trophy Thomas, uh, Jiggy, so that's good. And we got five of those in the bank. I think I will crank those in soon, just because, uh, you don't want a full vehicle of Trophy Thomas, uh, Jiggy. So I'll have to keep going back and forth, it'll be awkward. So I'll probably bank those in next time I get the chance. And, yeah. What episode were we on? I, I honest to God, don't remember. Didn't I say I was gonna delve on into Act Three and touch a bit upon it? A bit, a bit upon it. Cannot speak. Uh, yeah. Let's return the show downtown. I don't remember if I told myself to do a jiggy or two, but I'm just gonna go ahead and consider this an episode. And if for any reason this was too short and I didn't realize I started up another new episode, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of starting to forget. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of call it quits and exit Mantle Land and bank in our jiggies and call it a day. Go ahead and gather. I can't speak still. Gather up these notes. I uh, might as well go up here while I'm at it. Hang on. Hang on. Do it. Do the. Come on. Seem like I could do the mumbo thing. Guess not. Never mind. Guess we can't do that yet. I don't know why I thought it gave me the option, but I must be thinking slash seeing things. Or both. It could potentially be both. Okay, hang on. I don't want to fall off here. I want to drive over safely. I want to be a safe driver. That's all I want to do. I want to be a safe, safe driver. For all the people here at Showdown Town, they, they need to be shown the same respect they give me. Which is not a whole lot, so I should probably run them over. Probably, but I'm not going to. Luganaka. Alright, that should be enough to keep my jiggies in and also keep the crate. We'll come back for the Trophy Thomas jiggies here in a sec. I think. Actually, I might go to Mumbo's Motors, bank in this cube, and then potentially try... Nah, actually, we'll bank in these jiggies. Why not? Here we go. And then I'll go ahead and get on out. Talk to Mumby, he's juggling his eyes. We got a detacher and a small taxi seat. The detacher might actually come in handy someday in case we ever need to detach anything specifically. Who knows, you know? It's here for a reason. Ooh, Umanaka, fair play good. What do we get? Got ourselves some more high grip wheels, which is very welcomed. More balloons, more fuel, and more ammo and a liquid squirter. That is actually fantastic news. We got ourselves a Humba squirter. That sounds really horrible. Super brand new level of Klungo's amazing game, Hero Klungo Saves to World, is now ready. That, guys, I'm saving for the end of this LP. I plan on suffering at the end. Right, maybe before the final battle we'll do Klungo Saves to World. That sounds like a pretty good plan. And now we're going to be making in our first five Trophy Thomas jiggies. Like I said, I'm doing this now because the company we can barely fit in this cart. It's going to be a mess if we don't do it now. So here, we got, what, how many jiggies here? 22? Let me go ahead and bank these in. Bam! And that, my friends, is 27 jiggies. And it's going to be opening up quite a bit of Banjo Land. We need 59 for the other one, though. Hey, Banjo, Humba just delivery. Or just got a delivery. Humba just delivery. I guys, have had a stroke. I've had a freaking stroke. I don't know how many notes I have, so I don't know if there's any parts I should be buying, but let's see. Grenade gun. Ooh, grenade guns do sound pretty nice. Monster wheels? Oh. Oh, Humba, you're tempting me. And a papery pal, you know I want one of those. Oh, that's... Oh, and some large engine. Oh, my God. You're killing me. Attach sharp points to turn vehicle... Okay, I... Wait, fudge hog? Vehicle to a fudge hog. Huh. Nice little reference to Viva Pinata there. Okay, well anyways, I'm being silly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy the grenade gun. Monster, how many monster wheels do you get? Four? We'll just buy four for now, we don't need to buy the other ones for the time being. And then a large engine is like 80. And... Mumbo Bombo. Honestly, this can come in handy too, to be completely honest. We've got a strong seat. Which is better than the seats we have now. So I think I'll buy that. There went a bunch of our notes. But we got really nice parts. So that is good. I'm going to go ahead. Because this is my last recording session of the day. I'm going to be stopping now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bank in those other three jiggies that were from Jolly Dodger. And then we'll officially be at 30 jiggies. As of uh, whatever part this is. I want to say this is part 9? Pretty sure it's part 9. Could be wrong about that. I have a lot of stuff that needs cut out of these episodes, but uh, the Xbox and the TV messing up with me. You guys saw, you guys will definitely see the black screen because I saw it on OBS. Uh, you will definitely see the fact that I was cut off footage-wise. But here we go. going to go ahead and place my vehicle there. Jump on, lo on these lovely Tash cans. And bada bing bada boom. That's three jiggies. Now let's go bank these suckers in. Oh wait. Now we gotta go make them in. <laughs> I'm stuck behind the Jigovin machine. Move! I've got places to be! Alright, let's make these in. Bada bing, bada boom. 30 jiggies. Umanaka. Oh boy. Got ourselves a large taxi seat too, which is awesome. Spotlights, tow bar four, boot in a box. We're getting a lot of new stuff in. That's awesome. And then Klungo's got a new game. 
But that means Humble doesn't have anything for us. But that would make sense. She already had a whole bunch of awesomeness. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I think next time, I don't know what I'm going to do next time because I'm probably not going to remember the last thing I did, which was Banjo Land. Because uh, I always tend to forget what's the last exact thing I did. But next time, we'll be heading on into another new level and collecting Jiggies and Gingers the same way we have been. I think we'll have to go back into the last act of Banjo Land we just did because we didn't finish that all the way. So hopefully I remember to do that and get that all wrapped up. And then we'll move on into another level. So guys, I'll see y'all next time and take care. Before we end off this video, I'd like to thank those who are supporting me via Patreon. Superstar shout out to Game Clyde and Johnny Hedgewolf. If anybody's interested in supporting me, check out the description below and click the link. Until then, see y'all later.